<clears throat> Hello everyone, uh, Scott Bloom here, and uh, it's been a while since I did one of these videos, and uh, a long time ago I did a video on how to uh, run PS2 games through Steam using PCSX2. Uh, this time around, I am going to show you how to uh, uh, run a PS2 disc through PCSX, uh, or PCSX2, I'm sorry. And uh, I'm going to do it using uh, LaunchBox. So, first off, I'm going to... Uh, open up my PCSX2 folder start it up okay get that in here and we wanna go to CDVD uh, if it's uh, on ISO you wanna go to or you wanna switch it to plug-in then we wanna go to plug-in menu plug-in settings select your source drive this will be your disk drive in this case uh, mine is G because I do not currently have a physical uh, drive right now uh, I'm using uh, Demon Tools Lite and uh, I'm going to mount Castlevania Lament of Innocence And that's essentially the same as having a uh, disk in the drive. So go ahead and close that. Uh, now we want to go to LaunchBox. Open that up. Click Add. Uh, right here, Associate Application Path. Go to Browse. And Emulators. Well, wherever your uh, PCSX2 is installed. Add that in there. <clears throat> I'm gonna give this all caps. PCSX2. Okay. So, application command line parameters. This is what we want to do here. Uh, dash dash use CD. This will use the actual disk, not uh, whatever uh, ISO that you want to run with it. And I'm going to do a full boot. Okay. And let's start PCSX2. And there we go. Castlevania Lament of Innocence has started. Okay, close that out, close that out, and uh, to make sure that it really is using uh, the ISO. Uh, let's see here. Okay, game Sony PlayStation. Let's see here. So, gonna use a, another disc, Final Fantasy X. Gonna unmount that. Unmount. Okay, unmount it, and let's start up PCSX2 again. Now, it should boot to uh, the main menu. since we don't have a disk in there. Just goes there, and let's exit. Uh, 
Okay, and in Demon Tools Line, I'm going to just mount Final Fantasy X. From PCSX2 again. Maybe. There we go. Now, Final Fantasy X will load up. Hmm. Have to do something about that. No. 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 Okay, so we got that going. Now you're probably asking yourself why? Why would I want to run an actual disc when I can just uh, rip it and uh, play it digitally? Well, if you've got a small form factor uh, computer and uh, you got it in your living room or something, and you have LaunchBox Big Box, uh, and you just wanna, you just feel like running a physical disc. Uh, just you could just throw it in and uh, run PSX2 using the uh, actual disc. That's what I did for uh, my. Uh, Shining Tears uh, live stream way back, uh, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all you really got to do, and you don't even it, you could do this in LaunchBox, you could do this in Steam, but if you do it in Steam, you'll probably be uh, using the Steam link or uh, another machine that's uh, hooked to your main Steam computer through the uh, family share. And yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using LaunchBox for this example because uh, you could have this hooked up to your TV, and uh, if you have if you have it hooked up to a CRT television, then this will be even better. So yeah, that's PSX, PCSX2 on LaunchBox running a an actual disc. Well, uh, <clears throat> as close to as an action to a physical disc as I can get it for now. Uh, so, yeah, uh, hope you, uh, hope this was a helpful video, and, uh, I will try to do another, uh, video of something before the end of the year, uh, or maybe do a uh, New Year's live stream on YouTube or Twitch, probably Twitch, so... Yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.